Well, new at five, there's a remarkable history behind a veteran who just passed away in Benson. Paul Kircham died just shy of his 103rd birthday. As Kega Nine on your side's Craig Smith reports, he lived a long life of service after surviving World War II's infamous Bataan Death March. The Veteran Cemetery near Fort Huachuca is where the Army and the Air Force came together to honor one of the oldest veterans who survived one of the deadliest parts of World War II and went on to a long military career. The motorcycle escort, the A-10 flyover, the honor guards from the Air Force and from the Army honor the remarkable life and service of retired Air Force Chief Master Sergeant Paul Kirchham. Kirchham is believed to be the last American serviceman who endured the Bataan Death March in World War II. When the Japanese took that Philippine island, troops were already weak and starving after four months of the enemy blocking supplies of food and medicine. The Japanese forced 13,000 American troops and 63,000 Filipino soldiers to march 65 miles to a prison camp. Anyone who stopped would be killed. The Army estimates between seven and 10,000 soldiers died on that march. Troops who survived were pressed into slave labor, sometimes moved by ship to other locations. Jeremy Gyptum was teaching history in Vail when Paul Kirchham would visit and share the hard history he lived. My students would always ask him, like, why do you think you survived? And there was something about him. Once you talk to him for five minutes even, there was a a kind of a positivity and like a spring in his step. There was like a life in him that you just recognize like that's the guy who would make it through something as, as horrible as that. The Air Force recorded Kirchum describing how the Japanese later put him and many others on a ship headed to a labor camp, a ship American forces did not know had American prisoners of war on board. We spent 18 horrendous days and nights running all over the South China Sea being chased by American submarines. After Kirchhoff was freed, he re-enlisted, this time in the Army Air Corps, which later became the Air Force. There, he rose to Chief Master Sergeant before he left the Air Force and built a life in Cochise County. Steve Chavez was one of the riders who felt honored to escort Paul Kirchhoff's hearse. He was just a good guy. I mean, uh, just an, a precious person. One, uh, one some, somebody that you meet once in a lifetime. Yeah, you know, uh, that's the kind of guy he was. He, he, uh, you'll never forget him once you met him. In Cochise County, Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side.